the cell membrane in some detail so that you can write. Remember, always remember cell membrane is a favorite question of the examiner. So, in the VIVA completion test tutorial somewhere on the line, yes, this you should be knowing. It is must. So, let us have some basic knowledge about the cell membrane, right. So, what is the size of the cell membrane? Remember, in human beings, it is approximately 7.5 nanometers. Remember, it is nanometers, not micrometers. It is 7.5 nanometer. And best model we already discussed, yes, it is the Singer's fluid mosaic model. Singer's fluid mosaic models. It in present what it is majorly made up of protein and lipids right outside of that the carbohydrates are attached so we are not going with the carbohydrates for now you should be knowing that majorly 55 to 60 percent are the protein remember it is not the uh, lipids it is the protein and 40 to 45 percent are the lipids right in the proteins we already saw lipoproteins are present or the glycoproteins are present, right, in which the carbohydrate part will come, right. Now, in the lipids, what are the major part? Uh, it is the, uh, if you write, most abundant is your phospholipids. Most abundant are phospholipids. Then the uh, cholesterol uh, already discussed, cholesterol, right, and your glycolipids. But remember, remember, remember that the triglycerides are never present. The triglycerides or no triglyceride. Write it in the bold that there are no triglyceride. Write this in the short notes, you will get the extra mark, right. Should be knowing that there are lipids, but there is no triglyceride in the cell membrane. Okay, if we discuss, let us discuss what is the function of each of this lipids as well as protein, right. So, let us start with the, yes, functions of lipids. Now, this uh, in the exam, uh, this will be coming as a short note for either 3 marks, 2 marks, 3 marks or 4 marks. So you should be knowing at least some basic points so that you can write. So, functions of lipid. So, very important question, right. So, first function is, as we already know, it is providing the structural integrity structural integrity to the cell, then flexibility or fluidity. That is why it is known as Singer's fluid mosaic model, right. Third one, solubility, solubility, right. Why solubility? We already discussed about, about two points. Let us discuss solubility in little detail that if the lipid soluble substance are there, because of presence of this lipids, they can easily cross through the cell membrane. So, these substances can easily pass through or come across cell membrane, right. Example, if we have to give all the gases, fatty acids, always remember to give more of the uh, examples so that examiner will know that you read the topic well. Cholesterol in the hormones, there are two hormones especially thyroid and steroid hormone. Vitamin A, D, E, K. Right, vitamin A, D, E and K. 
Now, why we are uh, discussing about this? Because this will help you in the endocrine system. You should know that what are the uh, importance of those or significance of those particular topics. So, for now, remember these names. These are the uh, lipid soluble and they can cross through the uh, membrane easily, right? This was about the function of lipids. Now, next short note is the function of the cell membrane will come as a long question and each of the parts of that will come as a short question. So, functions of protein. Let us head on to the next short note, functions of protein. This will also come as a 2, 3 or 4 marks question. Now, we know that there is a mosaic pattern. You should write about that first. Then let us discuss why these proteins are important. They help in this protein will help in the transport, right? Help in transport. And the action of which substances? Water soluble. Because for the lipid soluble, we have lipids. So, for the water soluble and uh, action of water soluble substance, right? which can come across the cell membrane, uh, substance across the cell membrane by acting as. So, you should be knowing what this protein are actually doing in the cell membrane. They can either be acting as a ion channels. We all know about the ion channel. There are thousands and thousands of ion channels in a particular cell right so ion channels or pumps ion channels or pumps right so these ion channel are basically made up of these are made up of what thing tunnel proteins they are tunnel proteins in the diagram if we have to show the tunnel protein so this is something is tunnel protein. See, uh, it is making a tunnel, right? It is making a tunnel through which the uh, substance can go through, right? So, this is the channel protein which is made up of tunnel proteins, right? And what is the difference between pumps and other things? For now, just remember that it uses the ATP or the energy right for now just remember that we will discuss this in the uh, transport across the cell membrane in detail so I, so first point was the ion channel the second point was uh, point is is the aquaporins right we talk a lot about the body water so each cell require a particular amount of volume of water also right so aquaporin aqua itself suggests that for the water transport and you have a very crucial role of this aquaporins in the kidney. So, aqua itself means water, water, right? For the transport of water, we do have aquaporins, right? Let us move on to the third point that it is for uh, help in the transport of solutes, right? For example, the sugar amino acids, right, they use carriers or the transporter or the transport. For example, glute, glute is nothing but the glucose transporter, glucose transport, right. So, these are all the water soluble substance right for that it act as a the protein will act as a carrier or the transporter right so what is the uh, next thing for uh, water soluble hormones also it will work right these hormones water soluble hormones are basically nothing but the polypeptides these are nothing but the polypeptide if we have to give the example insulin right insulin is the polypeptide which is the water soluble hormone 
Now for those, it is polypeptide. Remember, it is polypeptide. It is a big size molecule, heavy molecule. For that, it cannot cross through a small tunnel channel or even the nanometers. So, what the protein will help um, to them is they will produce a receptor for them so that these polypeptides are big size molecules. It is not economical to make them cross the cell membrane or lots of energy will be used in that. So, what this protein will cause? They will act as the proteins will act as a cell surface receptor. They will act as a cell surface receptor. Remember on the cell surface receptor also you can get a 2 to 3 marks of short note. So, you should be knowing what is the cell surface receptor and how we can describe it, right. So, suppose there is a cell, right. If we have to draw in the simple format, suppose this is a cell. Now, for example, some uh, lipid soluble hormones, take it as thyroid or steroid hormones, thyroid or steroid. Right, they can go through and through of the cell membrane without any problem, right, because they are lipid soluble and they can cross across the membrane. But there is a problem for the insulin, right. So, what the uh, protein um, help them as becoming the cell surface receptors. Suppose this is my cell surface receptor, right, this is our cell surface receptor. The insulin molecule can come and fit into this, right. The insulin molecule will come and fit into this cell surface receptor and the action is carry forwarded inside the cell, right. It is carry forwarded inside the cell. So, hence it is a very economical way that this can act. Now, what is the importance to uh, you should know about the water soluble and uh, lipid soluble that in the case of these hormones there are only one type of problem. So, uh, no problem of receptor because there is no receptor on the cell membrane. So, it is of only one type. You can uh, always be uh, looking at there are two types of diabetes. In the case of insulin, uh, two problems. What are those two problems? Either the hormone is not functioning properly, right? The insulin is not able to produce, right, in the correct amount, or there is a problem of receptor, right? So, hence, there are always two types of diabetes. You must be heard about diabetes type 1 and type 2 that is because of this, yes, insertion of cell surface receptor which is important in the healthy person. Why? Because, yes, it is very economical that it will act through the cell surface receptor, right. So, you should be knowing about this. Let us move on to the, yes, the third, fourth property or fourth function of the protein that it will act as a enzymes. Various enzymes, their basic format is of proteins, right? And the fifth one is uh, they will act as antigens. So, uh, majority antigens of either body inside the body or outside they are uh, the proteins right or markers you can say example is mhc proteins right the major is to compatibility complex compatibility complex right so 
this can be type 1 and type 2 we are not going into detail but you should be remembering that your body already have type 1 right whichever coming from the external environment that is type 2 right so it is helping us into identifying which is your own MHC protein and which is the uh, external harmful protein right so it is working as the antigen 2 now uh, why the proteins are I told you that the antigens are in the uh, composition they are majorly proteins and they are the best to act as a antigen why because remember uh, each antigen should be different from each other right so you should need a uh, different different variations so the proteins have 20 different amino acid chains 20 different amino acid chains so maximum variations are possible possible uh, through the uh, proteins why because they do have 20 different amino acids as your mobile numbers are having 10 different digits what if they are having only two or three digits there are less number of variations are possible which happens in the case of lipids or carbohydrates so that's why the protein have 20 different types of amino acid uh, so the maximum variations are possible so that is about the functions of protein